What's up, Michelle? I don't normally do this, but I thought you'd probably be pretty lonely having just moved to Liberty City and all. You do not normally do what? You're not making this easy for me, are you? I'm asking you out on a date. I am sorry. I am still not used to how things work here in America. A date would be good. I am getting sick of hanging out with Roman all the time. How about I pick you up from your apartment? That sounds good. See you soon. Hey, Michelle. It's Nico, Roman's cousin. Oh. Hi. How's it going? Good. Now, I was wondering if you, uh, wanted to go out with me sometime. You know, on a date. Yeah, sure. That could be fun. Yeah, I'd like to get to know you, Nico. Uh, why don't you come over to my place whenever? See you soon. place, Roman. Anyway, I was seeing Michelle. I thought you wanted me to date her. Not what it means me getting beat up and sent to hospital. Come and pick me up, cousin, and at least tell me that you got some titties out. Maybe then your betrayal will be worthwhile. It was nice titties, yes? You're an animal, Roman. Nothing can stop you being horny. I'll see you soon. chose Cooch before his cousin. I hope she was worth it. Will you drive me back to the office, cousin? Oh. Holy shit! How was she, cousin? Tell me how she was. I wondered about Michelle when I first met her. If she was not a friend of Mallory's, it would be me with the smell of titty on my breath and you who ended up in hospital. Firstly, Roman, my breath does not smell of titty. Secondly, I don't think that your loan shark friends could hospitalize me. I can look after myself. All the more reason why I should have hooked up with Michelle. Everyone would be a winner. Yes, well, I will not let these men treat you like that again. I'm sorry for letting you down, Roman. I think tattoos are getting taken Roman, over by Sarah I apologize because... again for not being there for you. You've done a lot for me since I got here. Uh, the choice between some titties and your safety would have been difficult for me as well. Don't worry, Nico. Call me soon. Okay, Roman. I'm not going to let something else get in the way this time. Where are you? Over on the coast, under the L train on Firefly. Blader, buddy, you proved your point the first time.
Nico, why couldn't you come on the date earlier? What happened? Roman got himself into some trouble. I had to help him out. Really? Does Roman get himself into a lot of trouble? Is he involved in criminal stuff? Roman? <laughs> He's made some mistakes. Got involved with people he shouldn't have, but really, he is a legitimate businessman. What about you? I'm just trying to make the right decisions. Hey, man, this is getting out of control. The police are all over me. I can feel them. So? So? So, so, so I'm gonna go to prison for a long time. I couldn't get those things to the doctor. I got enough on my plate to be worried about this as well. You just missed out on a payday. Always chasing that first high. <clears throat> I've got some bodies in here. I've heard you'll take care of them. Uh, natural causes? Of course. Seems like a bullet in the head is as natural as it gets in this town. They weren't sick, were they? No. Had a few problems with sick bodies. No one wants a liver if it's riddled with tumors, huh? Know what I mean? No. Shit. Looks like the bullet went right through this one's eye. And the price of eyes is through the roof at the moment. <sighs> Fine. Can I leave you with these or what? Sure. I'll have these organs out on the street in no time. They're gonna help a lot of folks. He'd been trying to help the streets his whole life. Maybe he'll actually be doing it now. The doctor has that stuff. Good. One less thing to bother me. The heat is closing in, Nico. This particular party is ending. Follow him into that warehouse and get rid of the dealers. I thought you were going to clean up the streets. Hey, the message is what's important, man. It don't matter who gives it. I, for one, ain't in this shit for the ego trip. You taking my money, aren't you? Be my voice. I'm gonna go back and get Jay. Stay, baby. Damn you! This ain't no fucking movie. You ain't seeing me, Damn. Pete. Here we go! You're going to die, friend! Got you now! Good news. I bought you out of retirement. You're a fighter now. 
That mean I get the opportunity to kick your ass? No such luck, pretty boy. I got you set up at a tournament. You're gonna beat the first two guys. Then I'm gonna bet against you, and you're gonna let the third guy take you out. Shit. LC cage fighters. Shit, bro. I spent some time in this place. Just like you must spend time around retirement communities and churches trying to scam old ladies. I don't want to take a fall. Listen, man, you bitched out of a promising career to run around with a rich... <gasps> Nice to see a man like you swallow his pride for his mama. Hey, just stay the fuck away from him, okay? You got your money. We done. Listen to me. I was there for your mama when you weren't. I think you must have lost some brain cells in that fight. Yeah, if I see you again, I'll kill you, bro. I'm out. dive in that fight for you, mommy. You don't know that guy any more money. What do you mean you took a dive? Do you mean you lost? You claim to be some big shot, and you can't even win a fight for your mama? I lost a fight for you, mommy. I didn't ask you to lose no fight. I did not ask for losers in my family. You know what? Forget about it, mom. Just don't go borrowing any more money. See you soon. What the fuck? You know how much money I had on that fight? Are you too fucking stupid to know when to lay down? Guess I must be. You're a fucking dead man. I'm gonna bring that bitch mom of yours too. Y'all don't think you are, tough guy. This little game's over for you. I've been taking care of things for you, ma. That guy ain't coming around no more. Don't worry about it. What kind of attitude is that to give your mama? Do you think you're something special? Like some baseball player? Like some gangster? Mommy, I didn't imply anything like that. You organize parties, Louise. You're a bouncer? Don't act a big shot with me because I know who you are. Mommy, you don't know me. The most important people in the world come to our clubs, and I look after them. I am something, and I look after you. I'll see you soon, okay? Bye. Hey, mommy. Luis, I saw that nice man, Mr. Santo, again. Nice man? I mean, he's a loan shark. You didn't borrow no money, did you? No, he helped me with my shopping. He is a real gentleman. You could learn so much from him. Stay away from him, mommy. Listen to me on this. <laughs> 